Okay, pregnancy hips and back is a workout that includes a variety of movements and stretches to keep your hips and pelvis wide and open to create space for your baby and also keep your back and hips strong, mobile and ache and pain free during your pregnancy. So we're going to start in a seated position. Now I'm sat on a birthing ball, you can be sat on a chair. Just make sure that your hips are slightly higher than your knees. So if you're on a fairly low down chair, it might be that you need to pop something underneath your bottom just to raise your hips a little bit higher. So to begin with, we're just going to come into some pelvic tilts. So hands to the hips. What I'd like you to do is tuck the tailbone underneath and then tip the pelvis forward. So I'm going to come round to the side so you can see a little bit better. So in your seated position, we're going to tuck the tailbone under and then tip forwards. Tuck under and tip forwards. Now as your pregnancy progresses, as your bump and baby get a little bit bigger, this movement is going to become a little bit more restricted. But the more we can keep hold of this pelvis and lower back and hip mobility, the better. So tuck under and tip forwards. Stay nice and relaxed through the tummy. Take some nice deep inhales in and out. Good. So we're now going to turn this forward and back um, movement into more of a circle. So what we're going to do is to circle the pelvis all the way around in one direction. So either clockwise or anti-clockwise to begin with. So circling all the way around. Again, feeling nice and free through the pelvis and the hips. Good, and in the other direction. So work with as much movement as possible, keeping those knees nice and wide. So just to make space for your baby, keep the knees as wide as you need them to be and circle the pelvis all the way around. Okay, right, from here, stay in your seated position. We're going to lower one forearm down to the same side thigh and we're going to look up to the ceiling over the shoulder and reach up. We're going to come back to seated and then we're going to come to the other side. We'll reach up. So looking up and over that shoulder, look up at that hand if you can, otherwise just keep your eye gaze forwards. And try and feel that you can keep your sitting bones, your bottom, your hips on both sides in contact with whatever it is that you're sat on. So try not to lift up through that hip as we twist. Again, taking some nice deep breaths in and out. As you come down, bringing these the rib cage at the bottom slightly forwards so we can twist through the spine just slightly. Good. Let's do one more on each arm. And last one. Good. Okay. So we're now going to come into some pelvic tilt side to side. So what I'd like you to do this time is to bring one hip up towards the same side shoulder and then to the other side. So rock one side and then rock to the other side. Try not to lean back or lean forwards as you're doing this. So try and keep the rib cage over the top of the hips. Okay, we're not forcing the movement, you're just working naturally, flowing from side to side. Good, and one more. Good, okay, right, we're going to come from this position down onto the floor. So you can place your chairs or your balls to one side. And then we're coming down to begin with, 
on all fours. So you can have a blanket or a folded towel under your knees for a bit of extra comfort if you want to. From here in all fours, we're going to lift the chest and the chin and lift the tailbone nice and high as we take a breath in. And then we're going to take a breath out as you curve the spine up towards the ceiling. Breathe in and breathe out. Keeping your neck nice and long. So feel that in this position, the shoulders here aren't tr trying to creep up towards your ears. Keep the shoulders down, keep that neck nice and long. Breathe in as you open and lift the chest. Breathe out as you round back up. Lovely, one more. Good, okay. So let's bring our focus down more towards our hips. So we want it to be in a seated position, so this is called a shin box position, where we have the right leg in front and the left leg is out behind us. And we want to line ourselves up between the knees. We need that space, especially later on in pregnancy, to allow space for bump. If you're a little bit earlier on in your pregnancy, you might find that you can turn more towards your front thigh. Okay, so choose the angle that you need that suits your body best. And then from here, we're going to lengthen up through the waists, through the back of the body, and we're going to just hinge very slightly forwards. Now this hinge forwards isn't the spine rounding, okay? We're staying nice and lengthened through the spine and you are just hinging forwards. Now for your body, adjust this position as much as you need to. If you feel like you need that front foot slightly further out in front to make a little bit more space, that's absolutely fine. But you will feel this stretch into the hips especially this front right hip into the glute so support the hands down on the floor maybe support them on your knees but try and keep the chest lifted keep that chin tucked in and hinge from the hip joints rather than rounding here through the spine take some nice deep breaths in we don't want to stretch too far so we just want it to feel like a mild stretch. We don't want to force it any further. Taking some nice breaths in and out. Good. Okay, so walking ourselves back up. We're going to slowly shift over to the other side. So we're going to bring both the knees all the way over the top and then again find a position that is comfortable for your body. So you might be in quite a small closed position, you might be turned towards your front, in this, in this case your left thigh, or you might feel like you need to be a little bit more open through that position and turn more towards the front between the knees. So again from here we're going to hinge slightly forwards we're going to lift the chest, tuck the chin, support your hands down wherever they need to be. And just again go easy, a nice mild stretch position, not too far. Focus on slowing that breath down. Good. And then slowly come back up. Okay, so focusing on the hips again, a little bit more of a dynamic movement this time. You're going to start off in the position that you're in. You're going to recline yourself slightly back onto your hands and we're going to shift the knees up and over the top to the other side. So get yourself in a position 
here where you're reclined back, the elbows are soft, so try not to lock the elbow joints out here. So soften the elbows just slightly, bring the knees up through centre and then down to the sides. Up and down. Now I'd like you to take a nice deep breath in here as the knees are up. Focusing on releasing the lower tummy, releasing through the pelvis and the pelvic floor, and then exhale as you come back down. Breathe in and breathe out. Again, if your knees don't come down to the floor, don't force them. Just work within the range of movement that your hips can manage. Don't force it any further beyond. Good. and then just start to leave your second leg behind a little bit so leave that second leg behind start that movement with the first leg and then just allow the second leg to follow good so rather than moving both legs at the same time this time just lead with that first knee and then follow through with the seconds soft elbows again recline yourself back as much as you need to and let's go for one more. Good. Okay. So from here, we're going to come down to a side lying position. So lower yourself down onto your side. And then the bottom knee is going to be bent. Okay. So I want you to support yourself there with the bent bottom leg and support your hand underneath your head. And we're going to straighten this top leg out. Now I'd like you to keep your body in a nice straight line here and I want you to lengthen through this top waist. So try not to allow this hip to creep up and your waist to get really small here. So lengthen that waist down. If it helps, just keep the hand on top of that side of the pelvis. And then from here, we're just gonna lift up and lower, lift and lower. And focus more on leading here with the heel rather than leading up with the toes first. So turn that leg inwards and down and lead with the heel and lower. We don't need to be lifting this leg high at all. Focus on a nice long leg rather than a high leg. Again, nice deep breaths. Feel that the top part of your pelvis, the top hip, isn't falling forwards or even falling back behind you. So try and keep the pelvis nice and stacked and keep those leg lifts going just for a few more. You'll start to feel this in that top hip down the side of the glutes. Nice deep breaths. Pace is fairly slow. We don't want to rush this, do it too quickly. Lovely, let's do four more here if you can. Take a break whenever you need to. And last one. Good, and hold it there. Bring the knees into the chest, towards the chest, just for a few seconds. Relax the hands down, relax the tummy down. Just take some nice deep breaths into the sides of your rib cage here. And exhale, release. Good, okay, we're gonna swap sides. So I would recommend you press yourself up with your hands, you bring your legs around the front, and then you come down to the other side. So lower yourself down, support your head with your hand again, your bottom leg is bent, and the top leg is nice and straight and long. Lengthen through this top waist, keep your hand on top of those hips there. Turn the leg inwards, so when we lift the leg, we're leading with the heel rather than leading with the toes. Good, and you're just watching that the hip doesn't fall back behind you or fall down in front as we lift the leg.
Good, and let's do four more. Take a break if you need to again. And last one. Good. Okay, from here, again, bring the knees in towards the chest. Using your upper body, just press yourself back up to a seated position. And we're just going to come into a cross-legged position here. Hands to the knees, lengthen up through the body, and then just circle the rib cage, just slowly round. And then in the other direction. Good. And we're all there. Well done, everybody. Great work.